trains are going south. Part two. Good morning, Mom. Good morning. It's so beautiful here. The birds are singing and the frogs are croaking. Mm-hmm. How are you feeling today, my dear? Good. I can breathe better here. It doesn't hurt that much. Oh, that's great. So now tell me who will get out of bed soon, brush their teeth, and... Help me make pancakes for breakfast. Yeah! Well, let's get up. Pete agreed to kill Ivan. That's great news. He's a coward. I had to insist. Well, <laughs> cowards are the most rotten and vile part of humanity. You will need to keep an eye on him, darling. I made a deal with Nuggle. He's waiting for our go-ahead. What day were you thinking? Tomorrow, mm. if Pete doesn't back out at the last minute. Do not let him do that, Viola. Do not let him do that. If we get this thing done, I'll let you go free. It's a promise. Believe me. You've made that promise before, a year ago. Well, if you help me, take control of the Zerban's empire, you can go in a year or two, but not sooner than that. You can't. I want to build my own life, and I want to choose my own men. Uh, of course you want that. And you will. Over time, you will. You liked Knuckle, right? You chose him. Yourself. You know what I mean. I've been your slave since childhood. <laughs> Dear Grandpa. <clears throat> I know. Okay, I'm ready. How long until departure? Two hours to Moscow. Then okay, London. documents are ready? Mm-hmm. Timothy, I look forward to the results of these negotiations. Our English partners must accept my business plan. Yes. Good luck. Call me when you arrive. Yeah, I will. Mm. Ivan, can you do me a favor? Can you look after my wife while I'm gone, okay? She's nine months pregnant. Of course, and don't worry, she won't give birth without you. I want to see how you act when you have a child. Well, it won't be soon. I still need to find the one, the future mother of my child. Well, go find her then. Have a safe flight. I'll wait for your call. Well, as always, you were right, Ivan. <sighs> I broke up with Viola, stopped gambling, although it was not easy, and I'm spending the night at home again. Well done. I always knew you would listen to me. <laughs> Here. It's a little more than last time. Don't waste it. 500? Thank you. It's what's fair. Ivan, I wanted to tell you... Never mind. Thank you, brother. Yeah, you're welcome. Oh, Julia Carr, by the way. She said nice things. You're doing very well, brother. Keep it up. 
Are you two talking behind my back? Yeah, why? How long will I need to be on my knees, begging for her forgiveness, while she calls you to complain about me? Don't overreact. It's for your own sake. You know, I do have an idea. You've wanted to build a tourist complex in the mountains for a long time? Yeah, ten years actually. Right. I think I found a place. It's near the Wolf Ridge, 60 or 65 kilometers from here. Plateau, a nice spring to the left. We could go see it, if you're interested in it. Of course, how about in one hour, is that okay? Mmm, I think I'll meet you there then. Sounds like a plan. Well, thank you very much. We're brothers. Bye, bro. Viola, it's me. Call your guy. In two hours, Ivan will be at the right place. No, I'll stay in the city and wait here. Yes. So, are you hungry? A little. Oh, my dear. The air is magnificent here, right? It's aromatic and thick. You could take it, cut it in slices, and eat it like a sandwich. Mom, how would you spread mayo to the air? Mayo to the air? We will eat it without mayo. Mom, will Aunt Olivia come see us here? Aunt Olivia? She's working, dear. Maybe in the weekend, but I don't think so. You know what, my dear? Let's call her, huh? Would you like that, huh? Your cell phone doesn't work here. I wanted to call my friend, but it didn't work. Dasha from the hospital? Yes. Yes, I know. Reception is bad here. It was like that last summer, right? Well, we'll figure it out. We can call them from the village, huh? I have to call the bank soon. And the mayor. All right. Drink your tea.
Liam! 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 Yes. What's happening? Mr. Zurban. Everything worked out. I guarantee you he's dead. No one could have survived. Mm-hmm. Goodbye, brother. Thank you for letting me use your phone, Mrs. Stepanova. You're welcome. Good afternoon, the mayor's office? Hello, I need to talk to the mayor, please. This is Mrs. Egorov. Yes, I talked to him about my daughter. She needs surgery. Yeah. Hey, Egorov. How are you? Yes, there's been some progress with your request. I think we can allocate some money from the budget for you. I've got the situation under control, so don't worry about your daughter. Thank you so much. Can you tell me when I will be receiving the money? Well, soon, I think. By the way, your request has been approved in terms of health improving and rehabilitation support. You can take your daughter to one of our clinics right now. Sorry, I really don't understand. One of your clinics? It's a good one. One of the best. I've coordinated everything with my colleagues from the neighboring region, you know? As you can see, we don't waste any time here. Uh, you understand that Lisa needs money for a surgery right now, right? They're waiting for her at a German hospital, and if she doesn't get the surgery soon, going to a clinic will not help her in her situation. Listen, Miss Agaroff, you'll be contacted by my office next week. We will do our best to help you. Talk to you soon. At least he didn't say no. Could I make another call? Yes, of course, as many as you need. Olivia, it's me. Did you go to the bank? How much money do I have? 293 euros? Okay. That's not good. Olivia, I will call you back soon, all right? Bye-bye. Thank you. Dear Wade, listen, don't lose hope. 
If you need a phone, just call me here. Okay, thank you so much. What do we have here? Well, a car fell. Let's go through here. Any victims? Yes, one person. Okay, one person. <sighs> Excuse me, when you first got here, did you see anyone no, else around? No one else. Are you sure about that? Yeah. All units report to Central. Hello, Pete Zerbin. Were you the one who called? Yes, this way. We need to talk. Investigator Kravchenko. What happened? Well, apparently, Mr. Zerbin, your brother has died. His jeep skidded at high speed and it crashed into a cliff. No way. Yes, this is all that's left. Um, apparently, it was an accident. Is this thing familiar to you at all? Here you go. Please take a look. Yeah, yeah. It's Ivan's watch. His colleagues gave it to him for his birthday. I think there's an inscription on it. This watch was taken from the hand of the corpse. Took the body to the morgue. It's unrecognizable, because of the fire, you know. So, if there's any news during the investigation, I'll call you. Yes, anytime, thank you. I am very sorry, Mr. Servan. It, dear. Someone's out there. I heard a voice over there. Well, I'll take a look.
Lisa, take take your doll and go back inside, okay? Uh-huh. I just spoke to our friend on the phone, his plan worked. And he wants the other half of the money. Hello? Do you think... he suffered when he was dying? <laughs> Our friend? Don't think so. I don't think he cares about the people he kills. Not him. Ivan. Ivan? <sighs> Ivan. Don't think about that. Yeah. You are right. What's done is done. And now, I'm the boss. Of course. Of course you are. And I'm still your beautiful muse, right? Yes, help me. Don't move. <sighs> oh God, you're all covered in blood. Oh God, what do I do? I need to get you in the house somehow. Help me. Yes, yes, I'll help you. How did you end up here? What happened to you? My car burned down, but I managed to escape. It, it was a miracle. Huh? I had an accident. In Wolfridge. It Are you was... Serbin? It was bad. Serbin? Yeah. Yeah. What a coincidence. <sighs> Where are you going? You know what? I don't want to help you. Figure it out. Uh, this is not my problem, after all. Now you're going to bed, and I will read you a fairy tale. Lisa, it's time for you and me to go to bed, too. Mom, who was making noises out there? It was a man, right? No, baby, no one was there. You imagined it. Mom, is this the blood of that man? Honey... That is none of our business. I beg you, please. I don't want to talk about this anymore, so don't ask. Understand? All right. Thank you. Ugh. <sighs> 
Let me go. Let my arm go. Are you with them? I'm going to the village to call you an ambulance. You you have a fever. No, you can't call anyone. You know what? You're not the boss around here. Do you understand? Huh? <laughs> but you don't understand. They try to kill me. I can't trust anyone right now. I think my... My own brother... Planned it and... Hired someone to kill me. I don't care about your problems. I have my own to deal with. So stop talking. Listen to me. The only person... I can trust is my assistant, Timothy. I need to see him. But he's not in the country right now. Please, let me stay here for a while. Uh, just for a while. Is that okay? Please. Are you completely crazy? <sighs> no. I'm going to the village right now, and I'll call you an ambulance. No, wait. Please. Where are you going? Oh, God! Stop acting so tough, you are hurt, and now I have to drag you back to bed! Are you Kate? How can I help you? You're a paramedic? Yes, honey. Since the 60s. Imagine how many people I've helped. God only knows, even when I retired, I continued working. Until our medical center was closed down, permanently. Now I'm just here, taking care of my plants. Well, I need your help. My help? Yes. Of course. If somebody got hurt, just tell me where. At the lake house. Do you know it? Of course I do. Let's go. Hello. Who are you? Lisa. Ah. Do you want some water? Ah. Thank you. My mom went to the village. She asked me to come and look after you. Masha. A friend gave it to me as a gift. She's beautiful. Lisa, listen to me. I want to give you a gift too. What do you want most in the world? Maybe a new doll? Is that what you want? I wish my mother could smile. Like she used to, but she can't. I can't. I can't do anything right now. I thought my brother loved me deep down. But he wanted me dead. That's right, Lisa. He betrayed me. Here he is. Lisa, get out of the way, please. Take your beautiful daughter and go for a walk. This is not going to be easy. This is not for the faint of heart. Believe me, if I need anything, I'll call you. I need to work alone on this. All right, Lisa, let's go. I'm telling you now that if this is a gunshot wound, I'll have to tell the police. So you better tell me the truth. Because as soon as I open the wound, there's no way back. Open it. 
There was no gunshot here. Let's just agree on one little thing. You didn't see me here, okay? Your girlfriend told me you don't want to go to a hospital. No, I can't go there. There must be a reason. I'm not afraid of the police. Bite on this. Bite on it hard. Open. Oh. It won't hurt as much. Oh. Hello? Hello. Your payment. As we agreed. Leave it here. Is that all? What else do you want? <laughs> when will we see each other again? Like last time? Forget about it. Your grandfather warned me about you. We can't see each other anymore. That old bastard. Deal with him yourself. I gotta go. And the envelope? Hey, wait. One more thing. I need information. I'll pay you myself. About what? About the people who my grandfather owes money to. You'll do it? You want to betray Nathan? <laughs> I treated his wounds. Gave him some herbal medicine. He's sleeping now. He lost a lot of blood. That's that's why he was so weak and there were lapses in his Thank memory. Thank you very much. These are his. Wash them in cold mm -hmm. water. I'll stop by later. Bye-bye. Thank you. What about the girl? Is it her heart? Yes. I can't help you with that. You need to see the doctors. Yeah, I know. But your man is strong. Don't worry. He'll make it if he gets the rest he needs. He's not my man. Not yet, my dear. What is she talking about? I like this man very much, Mom. He promised to give me a gift. He is not like Uncle Alex, who lies to me all the time. Don't say that. Hello, can I talk to Kravchenko? Hey. I found something. It'll be ready in a couple of hours. You can stop by my lab tomorrow to pick up the results. Hmm, yeah. I'll see you tomorrow then. Are you hungry? Thank you. My name is Ivan. <laughs> and yours? Irina. 
But we already met, actually. We did. Really? I don't remember. Eat. Irina. Did I offend you somehow? Kate told me that you could have memory lapses, but I... did not expect them to be so selective. I need to go. Yes. Mr. Serban, the investigator is here. Let him in. Hello, sir. Hello. Have a sit. Thank you. I see you already have settled in your brother's office. Why shouldn't I? Ivan and I did business together, as partners. So this office is now mine, it's my right. The sign of the door hasn't changed yet. I'll change it, no problem. You shouldn't get ahead of yourself. Why not? Only one body was found in the jeep, but there were two people in the car at the time of the accident. Here, we just got the report from the coroner. It was established from the dental records that the body does not belong to your brother, but to Liam, his personal driver. Do you have any idea if your brother Ivan was with him that day? What about... the watch on his wrist? Where... where is Ivan? That's a good question. I don't know yet. But based on the testimony of witnesses, they saw your brother live in the same car with Liam. There was some damage inside the vehicle on the passenger side. I really think your brother was in the Jeep at the time the accident happened and um... What I'm speculating is that he got hurt, but survived. And now he has disappeared. He's gone. This is very strange. Hmm. Yes, I think that's very strange too. Thank you, Mr. Serban. Masha, while you were sleeping, I went to see the cranes. It seems that they will be flying south very soon. And I know that when that happens, the angels will come to take me and I will fly with them to heaven. But please don't tell mom, okay? Promise me you will never say a word. Okay, Masha? Timothy, shouldn't you be in London? What do you think? I found out what happened and got on the next flight out. Where's Ivan? Is he dead? Investigator Kravchenko. I think it's premature to make such conclusions. At the moment, only one thing is known. He disappeared in the region of the Wolf Ridge. Is there a search at least? I think the search group will start working immediately. Are you feeling better now? Thank you. Yeah, I feel better. 
Irina, I wanted to ask you. I heard it by accident. And I can't get it out of my head. Your daughter told her doll something about cranes flying south soon and angels coming to take her to heaven. Do you know what she means by that? Is everything okay? You don't know what that means? Mom, Cake brought over some broth. The guy you hired said he was sure. Calm down. If he failed, he will fix his mistake. Who could have known that your brother would survive? Damn. What should we do, huh? Timothy's back in town. What if he figured it out? No, don't panic. My love, how? How could he figure it out? <laughs> Listen to me. When you were still reminiscing about your conversation with Timothy and the investigator, I figured out what happened. The accident happened here, in the mountains, right? Right. Driver had the watch because Ivan knew someone was trying to murder him, that it wasn't an accident and he's in hiding. But since he's wounded, he couldn't have gone far. He has to be somewhere close. And what do you suggest we do? Go find him. Right here. You're sure? I'm sure. <laughs> I know how to find him. Good afternoon. Uh, Can you tell me where to find the village paramedic? It's not here. You need to go to the next village. Okay. When you pass the village, turn right through the forest. It's about seven kilometers. Mm-hmm. You'll figure it out yourself. I see. Thanks. Couldn't you just say that? What about small talk? That's dead now? Yes, Egorov. Oh yes, I remember you. Good news, today your financial aid was finally approved. How much did you say you needed for the surgery? I gave you the documents. Everything is specified there. 120,000 euros. Ah, yes, yes, I remember, I remember, yeah, yeah. We can't afford such a big amount. How about 100? Are you sure? Of course I am. We will do it quickly. In a week and a half, it will be approved at the City Hall. Improving your girl's health is one of my term's top priorities. Goodbye, Miss Agarov. Yes, goodbye, Mayor. Mr. Subrin, I know this is not the best moment, but I would like to remind you about the occasion 
I turned for you to help me. My daughter Lisa is terminally ill and needs an expensive surgery. And I would like to ask you for your help with this problem. I need... Mr. Serban... Can you hear me? Serban. <sighs> Serban. Oh God, I really don't need this right now. Good afternoon, Kate. How are you? May I come in? Sure, sure, come in. Can I help you? Yes, I hope you can help me. I'm looking for my brother. Maybe you've seen him around. Mm. Haven't seen him. You sure? Mm-hmm. He, he had an accident around here a few days ago, and since then, we haven't heard from him. Our parents are going crazy, and I don't know... If he's even alive. We are so worried. Is he related to you? He's my older brother. I don't know, dear. I haven't seen him around. Please, Kate. Please tell me. I'm begging you. <sighs> Go to the lake. There's a house. There's... A man there, who looks like the man in the photo. He mentioned an accident. Thank you. Thank you very much. I will never forget this. How can I get to this lake? Behind the village, there's a road to the forest. Yes. You'll see the lake. Thank you very much. He was here for some time, behind this stone. I don't understand why it took you so long to even start searching. Up till now, we thought there was only one person in the jeep. Ivan Serban. But there were two. We need to know who was behind the wheel. It's strange. He didn't notice Ivan's driver. Never showed up at the office to pick him up. It's been a few days now. Why didn't he say something? I thought about that too. You better pick up. <sighs> Hello? Viola, I found him. But first, I have to make sure it is him. Where are you? Okay. Meet me in half an hour by the turn to the forest. <laughs> What's going on, Mom? Lisa, he's very ill, dear. Listen, I need to run to the village to get Kate because I need her to tell me what we're supposed to be doing. Come. Sit right here. Yeah, right there. And every once in a while, dip this cloth in the bowl of water and put it on his forehead, like this, okay? I'll come back soon, all right? Okay.
Uh, excuse me. <laughs> oh, hi, how are you? I... I was just passing through here. Tell me, do you live here by yourself? No, I live here actually with my daughter. Why? No reason. Just... Just curiosity. <laughs> it's very nice here. <laughs> all of this nature, fresh air, all of it is very beautiful. Yeah. Okay. Good night. Were you looking for something? Huh? Uh, no. No, it doesn't matter. I'm looking for a house around here for rent. Thank you. Have a good night. Where have I seen her? Is that her? Yeah, she is. Serban! Oh my god. Serban! You need to wake up! You need to wake up now! Serban, wake up! Can you hear me? Listen, she's here. I think she's your brother's girlfriend. And I have a feeling that she knows you are here. Come on! Come on, let's go! We have to go, come on! Girlfriend? Yeah. V Viola? I don't know. Uh, right now, this is dangerous. You need to get away. I leave you here? Of course not. How could I leave you here like this? You're sick. Go now. What do I leave. do? Leave. What do I do? What do I do? Take this, Lisa. Can you help me with this? Get up now, careful. Yes. Give me the sweater. Hold that. He's not alone in there. There's a woman and a girl. We only agreed on one. I'll give you a good tip. Very well. Don't worry about witnesses. Wait for me on the road. By the way, I found out who Nathan sows three millions to. <laughs> Didn't think you'd do it. Just remember, it wasn't me.
Lisa, keep up. Going to the village for help. You need to get out of here, okay? And me? You're coming with me. I can't. I'm tired. Lisa. Come here. Sit down. Sit down and rest with Uncle Ivan, okay? I'll come back soon. Don't move. Does what she says. I'm scared, but she will be back soon. Dimitri, are you here? Open the door, Dimitri. Who's out there? Who's there? It's me, Irina! Dimitri, please open the door! Quickly! What's wrong? I need your help. It's an emergency. I need a ride. Could you get dressed and come with me? Of course. Give me a Thank minute. Hush, hush, uncle. <sighs> Mommy, where are you? There. You see the one you're hiding from? I think so. Let's wait until he goes away, okay? Quiet, quiet, girl. It's okay. You got lucky. But it won't happen again. Can you take us to the city through the forest? Of course. No problem. <sighs> When we get cell phone reception again, I need to make a call. It's important. Uh, to get him help? Here. Yes. He owes you big time. Okay. Let's go, baby. Come on, let's go, girl. Slowly. I need to take this. Hello? Hello, is this Timothy? Yeah. Are you still out of the country? Did you get back? I'm back. What is this all about? Listen, Timothy, Ivan Serban is with me right now. Really? Uh, can you put him on the phone then? No, he can't talk right now. And we are being followed. But I will tell you where you can find us, okay?
who are you? I'm your nurse. Lie down, lie down. You need to keep resting. <clears throat> Timothy, can you come? Yeah, yeah. Mr. Serban just woke up. Oh, thank God you woke up, buddy. How are you? Uh, I'm fine. Easy, man. Easy, man. Keep resting. You really scared me. <sighs> Doctors were great. They brought you back from the dead. Come on. What? It's true. You were unconscious for six days. We didn't know what was going on. When I found you in the forest that day, I thought you were going to die, to be honest. Do you remember anything? Oh, thank the Lord he woke up. Oh, poor boy. He's so tired. Mm hmm. I've been going to church to pray for him every day. I even asked the priest to mention him at mass. Yes, and you see, it helped. <laughs> it really helped. Thank you, Auntie, yes. Uh. <laughs> Ivan just woke up. <laughs> okay, but who told you that? Our aunt told me. She took care of us since childhood. Now she lives at Ivan's house. But Timothy, he won't let me see Ivan. He and the investigator surrounded him with guards. They're suspicious of me. Calm down. Our men is keeping an eye on Ivan's house. He will wait for the right moment and will bring this matter to an end. Do you hear me? To an end? Who is the only suspect? I am. No, he won't do anything else. This is it. I need to go see him. And ask for his forgiveness. Wait, 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 my love. Don't you trust me? Trust me, please. I'll figure this out. Let me deal with your brother myself, okay? If Ivan dies, I will be the only one they'll blame. Move! Listen, listen to me, I have a plan, wait! You have to listen to me. The evidence will point to your brother's competitors. What evidence? Hard evidence. A lighter with fingerprints placed at the crime scene. And the motive? If you didn't know, he threatened Ivan publicly two months ago. He threatened to kill him. <laughs> and it's because of Ivan that their company has not been doing good in the last few months. You are brilliant, <laughs> my dear. <laughs> <laughs> Did Pete do this to me? Seems like it. He's been acting very strange lately. Irina and her daughter Lisa, where are they? The one who found you that night in the woods? I don't know. She didn't introduce herself. The only thing she said is that there is irony to this. That she ended up helping someone who denied her the help she needed. Do you have any idea what she meant? Not yet. But I've seen her somewhere before the accident. I remember. Of course, she came to our office. She was in our waiting room. The office. I've been serving. Get after me. Leave me with my secretary. I'll take a look at it later. Hey, Timothy, uh, go to the office right now. Bring me her files. Irina had a folder in her hands. She left it with the secretary. Uh, was it important? Yeah, I think it was. Uh, I need to help her out. I need to. 
Please go. Good morning, Dimitri. How are you? <sighs> Good morning. I came to pay for the house. What? You're leaving already? No, not yet. I was just about to leave for the lake. We need to move the hay before it rains. I'll leave the horse some water and... <laughs> we could go together. Sounds good. Uh, yeah. Yeah, have some. Your secretary didn't even show me these documents. She decided that the amount was simply too much. That secretary should be fired. These documents should have been on my desk that same day. What's mm. today? Mm. October 30. What are you doing? You can't get up yet. We don't have enough time. Every second matters. Contact that clinic in Germany. Transfer the money to their account. Tell them to get ready for the patient's arrival. And get the plane ready for takeoff. Ivan... What? She saved my life twice. It's my turn to help. Go do that. Hello? I know where you can find Nathan. It doesn't matter. Write down the address. <laughs> You're done, Grandpa. This is for everything you've done to me. <laughs> nice beddings. Are they dry? They're wet. My hands are freezing. Hello. Hello. And Nathan, what ward is he in? Nathan is in Ward 7. 7. And who are you? Well, his second cousin. Ah. Oh. I came to see him. What? Thank you. Okay, I'll go visit the old man. Go ahead. It's weird. Nathan said his only family was his granddaughter. Hmm.
They asked me to say hello to you, Nathan. How much do I have left? Well, five to seven minutes. Heart attack. Don't worry, you won't feel a thing. I didn't have enough time. This is it, huh? Don't be mad, I'll be here with you, okay? Do you want an orange? Or maybe you have a last wish? Who did it? Who betrayed me? A girl. She told us where to find you. <coughs> Viola! <coughs> My throat tickles and it hurts. Honey, maybe you're just thirsty? Maybe you need to get some sleep. Mom, take me on a boat ride in the lake, like we used to. In the lake? Okay, we'll go. Take my hand here, honey. Be careful. There's no rush. Hey, Dimitri! Hey! Can we take the boat to go on a ride across the lake? Yeah, no problem, of course.
get here. Hello there. Look at the sky. What a beauty, huh? Cranes are flying south. Isn't that beautiful? When the cranes fly south. Masha, while you were sleeping, I went to see the cranes. It seems that they will be flying south very soon. And I know that when that happens, the angels will come to take me, and I will fly with them to heaven. Sir, a woman led her huh? with a girl, right? Yes, they're here. They went for a boat ride at the lake. Thank you. <laughs> they're at the lake. Get the car, quickly. It's okay, honey, Come we're on. safe now. Come here. Come here. Come on, Mary. That's it. That's it. You're fine. No, oh, you're fine. That was scary, huh? You're okay. You're okay. It's over. It's all good.
ist erfolgreich gelaufen. Jetzt braucht ihre Tochter Lisa der Ruhe. Was did he say? He said that everything is fine. Danke schön. Thank you. Thank you so much. So, I spoke to the investigator today. The police are looking for Viola. The headman is helping them find her. And I will help the family of the driver who died. As for Pete, as for Pete, he got arrested. Oh, Timothy had twins, by the way. Twins? <laughs> That's great. So now your assistant has double troubles at home. Yes. Irina. Mom! 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 Oh, look at this. This is beautiful, huh? <laughs> I promise you that Mom will smile again. And she's smiling. <laughs> Well, now let's go where the cranes fly to the south. The three of us. <gasps> you want to go? go. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Irina, would you marry me? Yes, marry him. Lisa, of course I'll marry him. <laughs> of course. <laughs> 